Howdy, howdy. It is Monday night. I haven't got my glasses on. Happy Monday. Oh, there you are. Hey, it's good to see you. It is Monday night, and that means it's time for... Let's Talk About. Let's Talk About. And I'm actually pretty excited about Let's Talk About tonight. Let me ask you a quick question. How many times in your life do you reckon you've done a vision board? I've got a few in the office. One <laughs> that's not finished from the last time I did it, but yes, I do have a few. Because I was thinking about it, I've probably made dozens of vision boards. How about you guys? How many vision boards have you made in your career? Um, you might have even come to a workshop that we've run or yes, done we something have run them. where we've said to do a vision board. So tonight, we're going to talk about, well, how would we title this? Well, I've called it Let's Talk About Abundance. Okay, I'm going to call it Let's Talk About How to Get Everything That You've Always Wanted. It's a big promise, Jeremy. <laughs> I think we can deliver. I think it's going to be good. We've got some awesome stuff for you that we're going to talk about. And we're going to include how to use uh, some of the Young Living um, Feelings Oils. Is that what you'd call them? Well, they're Emotional not all, oils. Yeah, they're more... Um, yeah, the blends, I guess, that we are going to talk about tonight. But we are going to share the secret, which we've just discovered, haven't we? This yeah. is something that we've really just got onto recently. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. So, no I mean, Tony that. Robbins talks about this. Stephen Covey's written about it. There's, yep. You know, we couldn't actually find who the first person was to actually talk about this idea. It wasn't him, although he's probably old enough. <laughs> But, yes, Noah and I were talking about it in the arc. All right, so anyone that's done our mindset makeover will know that uh, Bob Proctor, who we're a big fan of as well, yep. we, we shared a lot of Bob Proctor videos, mm. talks a lot about the law of attraction and yep. how you need to vibrate, um, you know, at a particular sort of level in order to attract things into your life. Okay, that's what he talks about is yep. that ability to attract things into your life but the thing is how do you actually do that um i mean a lot of people are out there they set intentions i want to have a big house i want to be um i don't know a supermodel <laughs> i don't know what do people want um or in this business um if you're building a young living team you probably set goals around wanting mm. to be a certain rank yeah. and you put that out there to the universe and according to the law of attraction you should be able to attract that back. Well, can I just clarify on that? Because there's a lot of guff about the law of attraction. Like when I actually watched the show, whatever it was called, the what was it secret. called? The Secret. I thought it was the biggest load of crap out there. I'll just be really blunt here. Because it looks like, and this is what I, I get from a lot of people, they say, look, you just put it out there to the universe, tell the universe what you want, and the universe will give it to you. Well, you know, I don't actually think that's true, but... I think there is something that runs, yeah, there is the law of attraction, but it's not just put it out to the universe, the universe will deliver like some kind of, you know, benevolent uncle or grandparent or something. A tree that grows money like my mum used to say. Well, yeah, because has that worked for you? No. Well, no, likewise. And so I, what, what is the secret then? So I guess the way that traditionally we've all been taught to plan is to, like we talked about vision boards, is to put on the vision board the thing that we want to have. Yep. Okay, so whether you want a big car, you want to have, um, you know, mon more money, you want to have um, a good body, you want to be fitter, you want to, whatever it is that you want to have, um, maybe it's a holiday, you want to go on a holiday, uh, you want to be a certain rank, whatever it is, we've been told yep. to put that on the vision board and then work out our plan for getting there. Okay, think about what you want to have, do the things, and you'll get those things. Yeah, okay? so, so to put it simply, you go, Let's use money, for example. I want to have a million dollars. Then I can do all these amazing things that I want to do, like travel and buy good stuff. And then I will be... Happier. Happy. Or yeah. my life will be amazing. Yeah, or... so it's like have, do, and then be. Or maybe it is that you've put this hot guy on your vision board and it's around... Oh, no, I, I haven't put a hot guy on there. <laughs> I want to have um, a relationship. I want to have yep. a husband. Yep. And so then you go and you do the things. You might go on dating websites and things like that and that'll make you happier. Yep. But the thing is that what we've actually discovered is that you need to do it the other way around. Yep. So instead of thinking about what you want to have and then do the things and you'll be happier, you actually need to start with the Bs. You yep. need to think about what you, you know, the result that you want. So yeah. if what, you want... What kind of person do you want to be? How do you yeah. want to feel? Like, yeah. 
Um, so, like, because you're not going to attract a man into your life, um, you can do all the things, um, but the thing that actually you attracts... You can attract a, a, a desperate man. Maybe, but your ideal man, you need to be the kind of person that would attract the ideal man. Yeah. So you need to be the thing, okay? So think about what it is. So if you want to be happy, like if you think about having a new house will make you happier, then what you need to do is think about how you could be happier so that you vibrate at a certain frequency, yeah. which yeah. brings those things into your life. So yeah. it's about being, and that's where the oils come in, okay? So that's why we wanted to talk to you about the oils. So one of my favorite oils uh, for this kind of work is actually abundance. Okay, I know I saw Sarah Farrow write today that she was abundance every day, um, and at the moment she's on fire. Yeah, <laughs> not literally. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah, just pouring oil on it won't help. <laughs> no, but if you if you know if you think about what kind of person um, you need to be in order to have those things, yeah. then um, you set about doing the things that need to be done and then you'll get the result. So abundance is a great oil um, to do that. So if you want more abundance in your life, like maybe yep. it's more money or more an abundance of time, um, whatever it is, start wearing abundance. And it's not just about using the oil. So obviously we talk about, like especially with something like abundance, you can put it on you topically, although it does have some warm oils in it, so it's probably best to dilute, but you can wear it on your diffuser jewelry, whatever it is. But I like to set affirmations with it as well. So, um, you know, if it's abundance, it might be, um, my life is abundantly full of love. My life is abundantly full of all the things that I need. Yeah. Or one of the affirmations that we used to do, like I was telling Jeremy that um, particularly when I was a gold with Young Living, I heard Marcella von Harding say that her mantra was, I'm royal crown diamond with grace and ease in the first half of the month. So I started saying, I am a gold with Young Living with grace and ease in the first half of the month. And it happened. <laughs> yeah. um, and so through years, I know that this sounds woo-woo and all that kind of stuff, but you've actually got to put it out there. And it, the the thing that Tony Robbins talks about all the time is this triangle of your state and how in order to, um, you know, to change the way you feel about things, you've got to change your physiology, your language and your focus. So if you change your focus and focus on what the kind of person that you need mm -hmm. to become yep. and you change your language to use things like affirmations, I'm a gold with grace and ease in the first half of the month or I have all the abundance that I need, um, whatever it is that you use your affirmation and use your oils, it helps to implant those in your brain because mm -hmm. remember, oils are the fastest way to get things into your brain. So if you want um, to use affirmations on a repetitive basis and you're inhaling abundance oil, it does, it goes into your brain and it gets cemented in there. So it's a great way to do affirmations if with oils. Can like I abundance. just say, the reason why this works, like the, what really is the secret is with something like that, when you put an affirmation out and you say, I'm a gold um, with grace and ease by the middle of the month, it, it's not like the universe makes this happen, like you make it happen. But what what happens with affirmations and when you start to visualize these things is you actually start to visualize the things that you need to do. So what does, it, what does a gold do? How does a gold behave? How does gold look after the, her people? How does a gold operate? What, what do you do? And I think it's like that with, with anything, isn't it? Like once you start to focus on who you're being, then out of that flows what you do. So if you are, it's like if you want to be a successful businessman, that doesn't just happen, but when you start to, to embody. embody that and to visualize that, then you actually start doing the things that other successful businessmen do. Yep. Same with sport. And so a good way to do it mm. is to think about that, like, because if you're so used to, like we are with our vision boards of thinking about what we want to have, yep. think about what you want to have, but then switch it around to what kind of, what will happen to me? Like, how will I feel? Mm. What kind of person do I need to become yep. in order to be that? And so like, say it's money, like a lot of us could do with some more money. Mm. What will money mean for you? Okay. And don't say happy because we certainly know lots of people who have lots of money who aren't very happy. Yep. So think about, 
are what it'll mean so maybe it'll mean that you can have better choices for your kids school or mm. you'll be less stressed okay yeah. so then you stress away or maybe you'll just be happier in yourself and in you know so you get some joy out mm. they're the kinds of things and so once again add some affirmations to it i live um a life that's um, stress-free or I have an abundance of joy or mine at the moment is around joy on the journey um, mm. because it's the journey about who you're becoming so setting those intentions is about who you are becoming and for me it's about having more joy on the journey because I used to think I'll be happier when I'm there but I'm never getting yeah. there because I get there and then I set the next there and then the next there and then the next there and there's no joy because I keep <laughs> saying I'm going to be happier when I get there and then I get there and I move the joy and I yeah. move it and I move it and so I need to use joy on the journey. So that's another one. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this one? What's this one? Present oh, time. Present time, yeah. So another part of this whole equation is when, you're, when you, you've got a vision board and it's about what you're going to have in the future. That's the thing, like you live in the future the future constantly. That's what you're thinking about is, is the future. And that immediately sets up this kind of tension because that's there and when you get there, then you're gonna be happy. So, and what it actually does is it robs you, as Kim was saying, it actually robs you of the joy and the satisfaction that you can experience right now. So that's why I like present time because that's the place that we've gotta live. So if you wanna be happier, don't wait until you've got all the things that you think are going to make you happy because the chances are pretty good they won't. So think about how you can be happier in the present time. And it's that idea of just being grounded and in the present. So I'll give you a quick example. I've been starting, we've been listening to the, uh, this thing called uh, by Og Mandino, the greatest salesman in the world. And it's a series of affirmations. So one which I love is I will greet this day with love in my heart. And you start the day with that, and every person that you come across, you go, you don't have to say it out loud, obviously, that would just be weird and creepy, especially at school. But in your inside, I go, do you know what? I love you guys. And it just starts to, it starts to change you, and you actually become the person who is more loving. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. present time. That's where you got to start. And so a lot of the oils in the feelings kit are great for this kind of stuff. So think about who you want to become mm. and what do you need to change about in your life. So maybe it is that, um, you know, there's some disharmony in your life or some disharmony in your family. Yep. So get out the harmony oil. Or maybe there's disharmony in... Um, in your workplace and so use the harmony oil to yep. bring about some harmony and once again find uh, an affirmation to go with it so I live in harmony with all of those around me or I live a harmonious yep. life whatever it is and use the harmony oil each day you can use it multiple times during the day or maybe it is forgiveness maybe you've had a falling out with someone yep. and um, you know that's causing some real turmoil in your life now they may not even know that you have um, you know that there's an issue like <laughs> I'm sure they're probably not walking around going oh gee where is I messed up that person's life they're probably not thinking Whoa. about it but it's messing up your life yeah. because you're carrying around all this baggage yeah. from whatever hurt that they actually did and that's what I love about yeah. Ho'oponopono work so go and google that mm -hmm. um, but Forgiveness is a great oil um, to use. So I forgive all of those uh, who have wronged me. And the other person you often need to forgive is actually yourself. We are so self-critical of ourselves. Yep. Um, and using an oil like forgiveness on a daily basis helps you to become the person that you need to be yeah. in order to do the things to have the things. So instead of doing the haves, and then the do's and then you'll be happy or be joyful or yep. be less stressed or be whatever in a great relationship do it the other way around be happy be joyful be forgiving be harmonious be abundant mm. yeah you know giving out stuff be stress-free do the things and you'll have the result do you know one interesting thing to finish with with that is that often our feelings stop us from moving forward because like, let's take forgiveness. Sometimes you just don't feel forgiving. Like if someone's hurt you or upset you, or you and you're holding all that inside, you don't feel 
forgiving. But I think the power of something like an oil like forgiveness is it sets an intention and it tells, and it's you telling yourself, do you know what? I want to be a more forgiving person. And then you start actually doing the things that forgiving people do. So you start not taking it personally. You start putting it aside. You start thinking that's happened in the past. Let's look, you know, let's look to the present. And that, and it's funny how your feelings actually start to follow what your actions are doing and what your intentions are. I think that's a really powerful thing. So you may be not feeling harmonious, but when you start to think, how can I be more harmonious with my family or whatever it is, then you start actually doing that and it starts to flow through. And then before you know it, you start feeling that as well. So yeah. It's powerful. So if you want more abundance in your life, start vibrating at a higher frequency. And the best way to do that is to start using your oils. All the oils have high frequencies. Yep. Um, it'll help you vibrate at that level you know, that level, um, and you do attract your tribe, like your vibe attracts your tribe. And so you guys go out there, use your oils, and you'll attract all that abundance. And you'll reach your highest potential. <laughs> That's right. All right, we will see you next week. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this week. It was a little bit different for tonight, yeah. but we wanted to, you know, let you know that there's some other ways that you can actually oil, use oils to improve your life. Can we just say, we love you guys. We love being here with you every Monday night. So, yeah. See you next week. See ya. Bye.